Hello, for anybody, sir. For anybody joining us, I did want to go through and mention, uh, I did want to mention that we're, we were having a conversation um, before we really got started and I wanted to go through and hold off on it a little bit so we could kind of discuss it. Um, hey, AKW Farms, good to see you. Um, one of the things that we're talking about today and, and we're, we are focusing on trying to make, you know, people that make YouTube channels that make videos and trying to grow their channel. That's kind of the purpose of these. Uh, it is, you know, we do believe in being social. Oh, just please shut up. You know, I just started, you know, stream. You know, he knows you do that. I know he does because he was quiet for a long time. Yeah, we were not talking for 30 minutes. He never made a noise. I know. So like he knows. I don't know. Maybe I got a particular. I don't know. Anyhow, what we're focusing on tonight, at least early on, is uh, the uh, we're focusing on or trying to focus on how to grow your channel. How do you get subscribers? What are the best ways to get subscribers? Um, I see uh, just doing our best. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Nana. Um, Nana Nine Acres. Good to see you. Um, and we're we're talking about that. I mean, people are welcome to join in on this conversation because, after all, you you know most of y'all have channels too. Um, for that matter, let me go through and uh, Mountain Man. Hey, uh, Mountain Moon Adventures. Howdy. Can't stay just oh, moon, uh, sorry. doing a wave by. Thank you. Good to see you. You know, I love my ice cream. Um, Evelyn Newman. Hey, good to see you. Um, the, uh, but one of the things, one of the things that we're focusing on today, at least in part, is, you know, how do you grow your channel? Um, Evelyn Newman says, hi, y'all. Uh, well, I mean, I, let's start with the way most everybody, you know, got their, got started. Uh, I think everybody knows that typically you go through and, and you start, you know, with your friends. You know, if you know somebody, you try to get them to. Uh, Panchuco, good to see you, brother. Um, you try to get your friends to watch, you know. And I think quite often we become quickly discouraged by that. Um, it's easy to do because after all, you know, people don't always want to watch what you're doing other than when you're where they're at. Hey, Jim, good to see you. Just checking in. Not really here. You never saw me. Okay. Wait a minute. Who was that? Say, that's funny because anyhow, but once you get started, you start doing some, you know, you start learning a few things. You put up videos. You get a few videos seen here, a few there. But the one thing about it is everybody always wants more. Um, sounds like the rain's starting to pour down pretty good here. Oh, that reminds me. I need to check my, my camera's probably shut off by now. Um, I probably ought to go pull that in. Um, I've been recording now for a little while, and it's raining. Let yeah, me go see it. It. I'm going to go get it. It's sitting outside. Okay. It's sitting on the porch. Watch out, Ogis. Hey. It's still recording. I'm going to leave it alone. Right. At very minimum, I get some good rain, you know, rain material. Um, yeah, that's always a good Hey, Good Urban Market Homestead. Good to see you. Hey, Jen, Steve. Aided the, aided the auction, trying to bid on truck shop. Herbs be back like hey, We appreciate it. Hey, Herbs and Blanket, things coming in. Hey, Ann Dale. There's Miss hey, Ann Dale's. Just doing our best. My Can wife and I were talking about Ann Dale today. She's such a sweet lady. She is. In fact, hey, Ann, if you get a chance, come on up here and uh, on the panel. Um. Hey, big, uh, big movie fan, 18 plus. <coughs> uh, always a pleasure to see you in here. Troy, good to see you, brother. Stop we are trying to get out of hours still, so I'm, I'm 1475 away. 
Okay. So you're getting close. You're around yeah. uh, 35, uh, 25, 2,500. Yep. Okay. 25, 14 to be exact. It, it well, hasn't done today's hours yet, though, or yesterday's hours. That is becoming another another uh, issue as far as getting the as far as getting the watch hours because from what I understand and I'm hearing that they're kind of cracking down. Now, I don't know if it's just on the folks that are doing the um, watch hours for folks that are already you know. Jonathan Zuck, good to see. You. Hey, Jonathan. The uh, hey, John. I, it's my understanding they cracking down on folks playing, you know, live streams uh, or play. Oh, really? Hey, Kentucky Prepper, good to see you. Um, well, thank you, I appreciate that. Big movie fan, eighteen plus is going to share my. Yeah, babe. Hey, no, baby, I've already looked at that. It's okay. It's still running. I'll take care of it though. Thank you. Who, who's that? It just says they just need sixty-eight hours. Uh, the Juma Brown, hey, and. Let's see. Do what was your what? Somebody said, "Hold on, I, I gotta find it." it, it uh, oh, John from Penro. I can't never say that. Penrosa Travel needs Pedroza needs sixty-eight subs. He's got the hours. He just needs sixty-eight more subs. Well, let's drop his link. Yeah, we should all get him at sixty-eight more subs. But sixty-eight—that's not that many. Let's see. Let's see here. Let me Where get up. I pull it up. Yep, he's at 931. Yeah, I'm, I really need to get me a new keyboard. This thing is on. I don't know why in the world anybody would ever care about having a, a wireless keyboard. I got a wireless keyboard. I don't have any problems with mine. I don't well, mine, once every six right months. now it's it works on Wi-Fi and my phone interferes. Oh. So that is Pedroza Travels. If y'all get to the yeah, Pedroza there. Travels. You know, 69, 68 more subs, sixty-nine more subs. We got to be able to get at least ten or fifteen of them out of here. I would think so. <laughs> um, according to this, uh, they need sixty-eight. Um. But that is the link for Pedroza. I'm down in the basement. Oh, I did not. Hang on, Miss Ann. Oh, good night. I'm so sorry. I, I've been down fun. here about 10 minutes. <laughs> well, it, you must have come up while I went outside to check on the, the camp. It was a little bit before that, but that's okay. Oh. No worries. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't hear that's it. right. Doesn't hurt me in the basement once in a while. <laughs> I said, shoot. Uh, I'm getting cold out here in this basement, y'all. <laughs> yeah, make it down there and drinks. Okay, um, I didn't find them. I'll have to talk to the waiter. <laughs> we'll have to buy, we'll probably have to turn the lights on now, though. So That's right. <laughs> the, uh, now I'm gonna need you to keep a watch on on your uh, Jerry. I'm gonna need you to keep a watch on your chat. I'm gonna try to keep a watch on mine so that we don't miss anybody. Because okay, knows, some people. I, I I think it is important to say hey to everybody, but you know sometimes you miss and some you know sometimes people get you know their butts hurt over. It. I don't mean to say that in a mean way, but you know no, sometimes it doesn't call for. I totally okay. understand that part. The uh, I mean, look, Miss Ann, who is the most gracious woman on YouTube, was talking about how she was getting cold in the basement. That's so, right. I just play, just playing, Miss Ann. Um, <laughs> of course you are. Hey, Busby Adventures, good to see you. Hey, John. Um, well, let me ask you, Miss Ann. Yes, dear. What do you think are the top three ways of obtaining uh, new subscribers? Um. Well, I can tell you what helped what made me feel better was making a community just like we've all done that is the number one is making a community my mama always told me to have friends you have to be a friend that's right yeah so being supportive being out there popping in on other people's lives you know supporting their channels that kind of thing that helped a lot um mm -hmm. And going to meetups, 
meeting regular meeting people in person it gives you that extra special connection and they feel yeah. like they're you know watching their best friend um as far as the rest of it there's not really a trick other than consistency being out there on a regular basis because yes, if you take a week or a couple of weeks off there's so many more people behind you they kind of forget yeah. about us a little bit <laughs> that's true that's that's true. well i think one of the things that i'm that i think on or tend to tend to dwell on ponder on if you will is the fact that you know there are uh there are the standard ways that we all do you know to try and and grow our channel or get you know more folks uh, associated with us connected with us and by that i mean going on to live streams and and you know meeting new folks and you know but i also know that there there comes a time where there is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction um sure every time you meet somebody and you you know uh you try to spend time with them um you try to go to their channel you try to go watch their videos you know but the more you know the more channels that you get associated with the more your channel grows hey mark good to see you the more your channel grows uh thank you for coming in um Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Um, hey, Little I'm Ridge Farm, Busby Adventures. Uh, doing our best. Busby Adventures makes a good point. It says get out there and watch lives, say hello, create content people like, and just be supportive of the channel. So I'd agree with that. Um, Kentucky it's, Prepper. It's kind of like a pebble in the pond, though, you know? Yeah. It, it has a pebble in it, and it has a little ring, and the ring keeps getting bigger, getting bigger, and big, get bigger. And the more pebbles you put in there, the, you know, toss in there, the more rings you have, and pretty soon you have a, a raging river. Well, there, there's no way that any one of us could possibly totally support all of our friends. No. That's right. It doesn't mean that we don't love you just as much as we right. always did. It's just right. that there's only one of us and thousands of others. That's and right. um, so we do the best that we can. And uh, I found I had a relationship with a lot of YouTubers before I ever started my channel. I was had friends in other people's chats. <laughs> and I was just known as Ann Dale. And uh, then when I started a channel, they're going, oh, okay, you got a channel. So, but just something like that, well, making friends. But, you know, being understanding that you cannot possibly that's watch right. every person's, vid every video and every live is, it's, um, right. it's just not humanly possible. Well, it, it, yeah, cause if you did that, you wouldn't have any time to do your own videos. And I found that I found that happening to me, Jerry. Um, I was so interested in not hurting anybody's feelings I that I wanted so desperately to help support other people that it was getting in the way of me making my own content. Well, so, here's here's kind of, I guess, kind of the point I'm leading to. Um, there is active and there is passive um active is doing what we do you know typically in this community uh in these communities that we go to um we we actively go out and chat with one another we actively hey Des bolt mississippi good to see you um we actively go out and we say hello to everybody or we try to we try to speak with people. We try to, you know, build friendships. We try to, you know, um, that hey, good Matt, or good Matt. He is good people, but hey, Matt. Big Matt. Um, hey, big but Matt. But we try to. That's an active participation thing. The uh, we still a lot of us still make videos, although some of us, because of our focus on live stream, sometimes our focus on. Uh, oh, hey, um, Marie at our Oki Homestead. Good to see you. Um, sometimes, though, 
we kind of lose focus on maybe the videos that we do, or maybe we're still doing videos. Um, well, yeah, even lives, you know, I consider those videos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is content. Yeah. It's content. Okay, you're good, uh, big movie fan. Thank you. Um, it is, yes, it is content. But, you know, I guess part of what I'm thinking is that if you go through and you, the goal, at least, I think, of some content should be to make it a playable, searchable thing. Hey, Grace and Fire. Yes. So that people will play it over and over again. Yeah, because let's face it, you know, I'd be willing to bet that my live stream from a month ago, nobody's playing. The You have a good point. That's true. So, and from that point, the effectiveness of that particular live stream is basically dead as far as trying to grow my channel. Yeah, but do you think you should take it down because it's, it's not doing anything else? Or do you think no. you should just leave it? Yeah, see, I, I believe in leaving it there too because I don't... Yeah. I've not only doing lives for people to see, but I'm also doing lives for my great my grandchildren my great-grandchildren to watch it later on. Well, I think that it serves a purpose. I think it, you know, it does serve a purpose, and I think it's multi... Uh, but that's not really my point. And I'll, I will go over the purpose just because the fact that you brought it up. Um, I think that one purpose it does, you know, serve for somebody that wants to help you. Uh, one of your loyal supporters, especially until you become monetized. They'll, a lot of times they'll go through and pick an, uh, something older that, to watch and play. You know, but let's face it, that's, you know, rare that they pick anything very old unless they're doing a playlist. Um, right. And I've heard recently that that they're cracking down on counting playlists as valid views. Um, now I don't know if they consider that for uh, for somebody who's not monetized yet, but I know I've heard of several people that were monetized that people were playing the playlist for that they consider those invalid views. Anyhow, really? Um, well, I try I tried to, Busby. Um, I had yeah. heard that. Hey, well, but think about it. Seventy percent seems like I heard the name, uh, the number. Seventy percent of the people that go and watch YouTube uh, are there to answer a question. Sure, They're, they want to sure. know how to reset the time on their watch. Well, hold on, oh, Gary. I got something for you. Last Friday, we did my vi we did this live. You sent people over to me, and on Saturday, I went in and checked the, what the numbers were. It was one hundred nineteen hours. And then you go check that right now and look and see what the numbers were from last Friday. It's only 77 hours. So they say somehow they've got through and took hours away. And it's not, it's not, it's like 32 hours. It took away. Is it th yeah. About 32 hours. They took away for what reason? I don't, you know, I don't know. There weren't, I know it wasn't uh, a lot of shorts. I was, I didn't do a short that day. Now I did do a short today and I've got like over 700 views on it right now. How long so, have you been YouTubing? Pardon me? How long have you been YouTubing, putting up products? Uh, 18 months, but I don't have... Uh, a year ago, I was in, I didn't put anything out in, in April. Okay. I don't have like two or three hours come out, or 0.1 to 0.5 right. hours. Well, you day. know, the fact is, I don't know that some of the things that we're... There are some things, Jerry, that we're just not ever going to know. Right, because we're, we're not in the know. That's, That's right. right. We're not in the know. We're not the people that, that create the... The algorithms. We're not it's the people that write the programs. We're not the people that you know. So some of these things, YouTube is going to do what YouTube is going to do, and we got no say over that. Right. <laughs> the truth. What we, all we can do is we're playing in their sandbox, and all we have to do is just try to keep the sand inside the box. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I'm not going to worry so, so much about where I lost hours here or I lost subscribers there. You know, I think sometimes they just go through. And you know, do a wipe of people that hadn't been on in months or whatever. I don't yeah. know. I'm not going to try and figure that out because it's a waste of time. Well, Jerry, yeah, Jerry knows yeah. that um, there was a time when actually Longhorn Lester and I'm a survivor shouted me out and put put and I just boomed all of a sudden. Yep. 
And then that was, that was cool, though. I mean, really, I mean, I know you had that. Nice. It, was, it was very. Hey, how are you doing? It's great. It was really sweet of him. However, um, very short. I, I did not grow for about three months. And all I did was lose hundreds of subscribers, almost to a thousand. And it was disheartening. But what happened was because there are people that loved him, you know, hit that sub button yeah. and then never watched anything. Right. So oh, those are the ones you lost. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it helped a lot, but it wasn't. Well, he, that's he, not what kept people there. He had me on a, on a, a live with him and he kind of kind of gave me a little shout out and it was the middle of the afternoon and. I got 130 subscribers overnight and I went and lost probably 15 or 20 of them. Okay. What a you good know, thing. but, uh, I mean, to me, a shout out is get, at least get people out there and look at your, your thing. They don't like it. That's okay. That's I mean, right. it's not for them. It's not for them, but you know, uh, I no shout out. It's not going to even get you those guys to look at you half the time. That's right. And I, I mean, he exposed me to a tremendous amount of people that I would have never met before. Right. But uh, well, some of them yeah. stayed and some of them, some of them left. Yeah. But the ones left don't just don't, don't know how sweet you are. <laughs> well, they just, I wasn't their, I wasn't their cup of tea. That's the right. A square well, family homestead. They, I don't think we have. I only heard your, your voice. It, it, it sounds might be down. By the way, uh, Chris, this is Chris over beside you. Uh, and Chris is from Square County uh, Homestead. He's right. He's basically a uh, you know a neighbor of mine. He's here in Mississippi. Um, awesome. And by the way, I noticed that we also have mayhem and miracles in the house. Good to see you, Masha. Um, brutal Bob's here. The um, Southern Clairvoyant. Yep, yeah, and the Southern Clairvoyant. Uh, yeah, a lot of people over there, Gary. Right? The, uh, but. Chris, you've been doing this for a while. What's your take on all this stuff? You know, we were blessed. Uh, our channel will be two years old at the end of May. Mm -hmm. But we were blessed to have, I had all my watch time hours before my subscribers. Uh, we were we were monetizing our, just about at our one year mark. Almost at, at on the day, you know. Uh, it seems like YouTube, as soon as you get going with something, they, they change the grows of the game, I think. Uh, to see how fast you can adapt. Yeah. Just like with the shorts. I mean, I think shorts are kind of cool just because there's I've got tons of, of little clips, but it don't amount to the whole video, but I can still show them, you know, as yeah. a, a one-minute little clip or something. I think it's kind of cool to do that. Uh now they're I don't think they they're not gonna count much for your watch time, but they get to your name out there. They you can have a thousand views pretty easily. Yeah. And so that that could somebody go in and actually looking at your channel. Uh Jerry, I wanted to tell you, you know, I was subscribed to you and I was watching your stuff and there was three or four days went by and I was like, Well, I haven't seen Jerry pop up in a while. So I hit the subscription, you know, who I subscribed to. He was nowhere on the list. And I said, well, what is up with that? So I had to go back and resubscribe. And I used to find like three or four other channels the same thing. Well, you're not the first one that told me that. Uh, somebody else said that. Uh, oh, Bruce said that. Bruce from uh, Shooting Star said that he was subscribed to me. And all of a sudden he went to check on, hadn't heard from me, checked on and said, hey, I got unsubscribed to you. And so, I, I, I understand that if you hadn't watched somebody in a while, they take you off that subscription list. Well, but I had been watching and watching a lot of your content. I, right. I don't think that, in fact, Chris, I have uh, a lot of people here um, are probably familiar with my friend Nicole uh, and Al, Al and Nicole Chafe. Nicole was a member, a paying member to my channel. And in one week, she had to resubscribe. I seem, I've seen, I don't remember if it was seven or 13 times. Wow. But she had to resubscribe over and over again before she would she stay. And she was one of the most prolific commenters on my videos. 
So I know she was watching them. You know, the uh, and it just you know it it didn't make any sense. I think that sometimes that YouTube and I and I don't know. I don't write the programs and what have you. Like I said before, I think sometimes they just go through and are dead set on dropping people. And it, it would make sense. Hey, Adrian Sport and Karaoke Channel. Good to see you. Um, it makes sense from a business standpoint that they would keep from having, you know, people getting monetized because uh, um, take it longer so they can continue to run, uh, continue to run. They can say all the reasons they want, but the ultimate effect of it is it takes people longer to become monetized so that they can, you know, continue to run um, advertisements on their on their videos, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, not, and not pay, not to pay out money. That's right. Let me ask you, Chris: Was I still on your list as a subscribers, or was I down on your list? You, I was. You was nowhere to be found. Well, just just completely off the list altogether. Just gone, huh? I had to go back and actually search and uh, find you again, which, you know, no problem. And uh, just hit, I mean, this, so this probably went on for about a week before I realized what had happened. Yeah. Huh. Well, one it of the things. It happens to all of us. Hey, Uncle Don. And, and I mean, I don't know if it's happening. Like, I know our channel, you know, I look at the analytics quite often, but. I think in almost two years, we've only lost 10 subscribers in that two years. Wow. <laughs> Are you kidding wow. me? Wow. I yeah. lost that many a day. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I, I can remember the first time I lost a subscriber, and, it, and you know, it broke my heart, you know. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, I've done something wrong. And then I was like, I'm not worried about that. Just I lost 14 yesterday. I was going to say, <laughs> oh, my God. I probably lost 10 today. Well, well uh, I do think, like, when I did start out, like, I, I just found this community about, I don't know, six weeks ago. So I didn't even have this support system here when I started. I come up from ground zero with, you know, I was my number one subscriber. Yeah. I had five. That's because they lived in the same house as I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know? and, and my goal was to get 100 subscribers. Then what, and I, I never thought I would have been monetized, not in a million years. Me too. And I didn't even look at being monetized. And I hit about 900. And I was like, wow, you know, and I actually searched, well, how much do I have to get? And then it was like mind blowing 4,000 watch hours and <laughs> right. thousand subscribers. I said, that's never going to happen, you know. Yeah. Well, when I came out of the shorts, I thought, I thought, well, maybe I can get subscribed to shorts. And I looked down, it was it was 10, 10 uh, million. I went like, you've got to be kidding me. That, 10 million in 90 days? There's no way. Yeah. I don't have, well, no, that's impossible. I, I don't know if anybody who could do I'm, I'm sure it can be done, but yeah. it doesn't seem feasible. It's just the numbers just that so would be, I think that would be for somebody like a celebrity that, that could get that much. You know, <laughs> that, right. well, I have, yeah, I have a couple of friends that can do that. Uh, no, she's got the trick, man. She's got the trick. Looking at Pam's place is a good friend of mine, and she has. I, I'm trying millions. to get. I'm trying to get my mother-in-law. She she loves to cook, and she's a great cook. And I'm trying to get her to build her little channel, you know, yeah. of cooking. And she actually she done a video for me on pepper sauce, and uh, so I post this. That's been probably a year and a half ago, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad for her first video. I still can't get over you've only lost 10 subscribers in two years. I know, that's just, <laughs> just mind-blowing. <laughs> that's fantastic. I and mean, it's really, way to go. <laughs> we do anything, is, I promise you. Well, that, is, that is something. One of the things that I think is important, though, if you're going to if you're going to go through it, for example, I know that Chris, you had a, a a video that hit pretty good, didn't you? Yeah, I've got well, I've got several, but uh, I think that's what helped me so much is I had a hoop coop video, a hoop coop for chickens. Right now, it's it's standing like 110, 115 thousand views. Wow, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, and that was before I monetized, so I actually had my hours before I got the subscribers. 
So wow. I think that's part of it. If you ever get that one video that kind of gets it fairly big, I think that yeah. helps a lot. And that's one of the things that, that I really, I guess I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit about what is video. Uh, we all do, you know, most all of us, I think, do live streams, or a lot of us do. I know I do. Uh, I know Chris has started doing, you know, live streams. At least I've seen, I, I was there on your first one. I, there's, uh, I know Jerry does live streams. I think I'm on, I may do like a, just me by myself and maybe do like a Q and a kind of deal. I'm not, I don't know. Cause I got to find time, which, yeah. you know, Jerry knows you got a little form. It's hard to find time sometimes to do anything. So without, without stepping on somebody else's toes. Right. You know, yeah. and, and, I, and you don't want to step on people's toes. if then faithful right. to you. So, right. you yeah. know, find a time frame that, like you said, it's not overlapping somebody else or stepping on somebody else. And, you know, well, Chris, I tell you what, you know, for example, right now, you could be sharing this video and creating content if you'd like. Um, I know Ann could as well. I could, uh, but I wanted Jerry to get the hours. I appreciate that. that. That's so a I great didn't, point. I didn't well, put it out on my channel because I want them to come to Jerry's channel. Well, here's the thing, though, and I don't know if this is true or not, because I was listening to Al and Dave, and they were talking about how both of them got four hours, even though there's no way they both had the same amount of people in their live streams. When you do this co-streaming thing, I don't know how it's reporting and what have you, but it's very possible that that they're, they're sharing the views. It doesn't make sense to me, but um, I, I don't know if that does or not. Uh, I still need to figure that out. Um, but when it comes to videos, though, and that's kind of, you know, bringing it back around to videos, you know, you can, you know, I think sometimes it is luck of the draw. I think you just have to throw a good, you know, title on there from time to time, or maybe it's just a subject. It, the title goes with the subject well enough and the subject something that people want to know about. Um, so I think that, that. Yeah, I already clicked it too. Are you tapping a bottle, Gary? Do what now? Are you, you tapping, tapping the anything? bottle? I'm not tapping anything. I get it clicked in every once in a while. I'm hearing some. Yeah, I'm um, hearing it too, but it's, you know, say what, I'll mute y'all one at a time. Okay. And Can better yet, I'll mute me first. And, it may uh, be just, me, I don't know, but um, it sounds like some sort of microphone thing that might be happening. All right, I just muted Chris and... The, I'm not hearing it now, so it must be coming. I'm guessing from Chris. Let me but see. The uh, and it may be if you're on a phone or something. I, I don't know, but there. I, am, am I unmudded now? Yep. Okay. I think so. Um, <laughs> unmudded. Well, I, I, I just heard it again. Do carry a little microphone. So I took it off and I laid it right here. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Okay. The, uh, but I know that, that it has stopped. a lot of times if as a front, I tell you what, um, maybe try putting it under a cushion or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me, I tell you, I'll just mute you for just a minute. And then if, you know, uh, unmute yourself whenever you want to say something, Chris. I think you just well, that's interesting. I still heard you, even though you were muted. Say something again. I'm still I here. Yeah, I, you muted Jerry. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. That's right. Maybe you can was, mute me if you want to. Hang on. Let me see if I can still hear it because, you know, that time I muted Chris. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, it was. It, I don't know. Anyhow. <laughs> All right, I'm on. All right, I'm on. I, right now, you're muted, Chris. Uh, if you, you know, whenever you go to say something, just unmute yourself. All right, um, because it, it is causing a little bit of feedback. Well, yes, John, you're counting for me right now. I think I, I still heard it once I was muted, so I'm not sure. All right, well, let's try. Let's try. Uh, I just heard it right then, so. 
And I, I don't know what the problem is. I'm on. Yeah. I don't know. Well. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to unmute. Uh, well, you'll have to unmute yourself because as you want, anyhow, I think when it comes to videos, I think that we can go through, <coughs> there's a couple things we can do. A uh, bunch of preppers, good to see you. Um, yeah, technical issues are kind of a pain in the rear end. Brandon's um, Recovery TV, hello. Wait for a couple months, I've got, given six months, I'll pick in for a couple months. I've, I've been given six months. Wait. I'm sorry to hear that work line. Um, well, we will certainly be praying for you. Yes, we will. You just bu got bumped up to the top of the list. Yep. Only the Lord knows that. And um, the work line is a member of this channel, a wonderful person. Uh, always been a good supporter. The uh, a little hard to focus on. It is know. hard to focus. And um, what we'll do is be supportive and know that you're covered in prayer and blanketed in prayer and that whatever this journey brings you it's going to be okay in the end, because if it's not okay, it's not the end, and it'll be all right. Oh, no. Anyway, so I'm sure that if I were in their situation, I would want people to continue to know that they love me, yeah. but at the same time, to continue in normal conversation and have a little bit of normal YouTube time. Oh. Yeah, that fish channel. And oh. so, please keep us in the know, work line. Please keep us in the know. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I mentioned on here that a friend of mine who had COVID, got COVID real bad. He was in the hospital for, for two months and came out of it and was getting better. Well, he, he had a massive heart attack two weeks ago and passed away. Gracious. And then, uh, he's about one of my bowling people I bowl with. And, you know, it came out of nowhere because he was feeling really, really good. And I and I strongly believe the Lord lets you feel real good before he takes you. Because he was feeling good and getting around and doing a lot, lot better. And house and wham, had a, heart, a massive heart attack when he was sleeping. Oh. Uh, he was only, he was, he was like a week short of his 60th birthday. Wow. Yeah. He was young. Goodness gracious. Brandon's Recovery TV, just doing our best. Cruising scene. Joy X. And I uh, can't say your last name, honey. Uh, Carqueva. Carqueva. Okay. Right. Yep. I'm doing this right. Oh, no. Um, the Southern Clairvoyant has type A flu. Oh, bless your heart. That's a terrible thing. Type A. Madro's a type A flu. You're in California. What, what part of California are you in, Pedroza? Because actually, I'm I'm actually in California right now. I'm on the job. Who are you talking about? What's in California? Uh, Pedroza Travel. Oh. Uh, he's in uh, Riverside. He's in Riverside. Riverside is not far yeah. from me. I'm, I'm actually around Palm Springs. Yeah, you're not that far from me. I'm from California. I was born and raised, so I, I know California pretty good. Yeah, I usually work around the center area, out there in the middle of nowhere. Are you out there working on the uh, windmills? Oh, no. We're working right there around the windmills, actually. Oh. We're on the pipeline side. Okay. Yeah, I just pulled about a 30-hour shift. Come in, wow. got a nap. Go back tomorrow. Oh, my gracious. 30 hours straight? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get this up no more. Good night. Good night. Someone's not going to come to the basement. 
Somebody says, oh, yeah, maybe somebody. Is there anybody in the basement? That's what uh, Jonathan said. Somebody's knocking on the door from the basement. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm watching the basement. I'm, I've got everything moved where I can see it now. Um, life. I have a tendency to go through and I, I'll pop out chat and put it over a lot of times the video so that I can actually see the chat. It's not important that I see me as much as it is as it is, you know, what's going on in the chat because I'm bad about that to begin with. Well, um, I have a question I need to ask you about Luke. Yes, ma'am. So um, the last couple of months or so, I'm not sure exactly when, maybe a few weeks, you have uh, changed your position. Of course, you used to be in the recliner where we could watch you. And you've changed uh -huh. your position where there's a camera on the side of you. And then your how many screens do you have? And <laughs> so that I it's can unlimited. Have unlimited. It's, a, it's a, just about time somebody to ask that about you, Gary. It's just <laughs> it's just whatever I can think of. Uh, I put this particular screen up there because it's mathematic computation. And hey, I, uh, since well, it's awesome. we built yeah, somewhat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Because we deal a lot with uh, analytics from time to time on this page, I just thought mathematical computations made sense in the background. Um, yeah. Now, I do look at analytics, but there's a real science to it. Yes, there is. And I, you, I'm, I'm you not gotta, there. <laughs> You've got to be able to understand how to decipher that stuff sometimes, yep. you know. It takes a little bit, and I've been studying the watch hours, and I noticed that if you have like four or five hours coming off, they come off in the morning, and the watch hours that go on for that day always go on at night. Okay. So it's twice, it's like twice a day. But also, like on Tuesday and Wednesday hours, like right now it's showing from Wednesday, but it was supposed to be put on as of Wednesday. But from Tuesday and Wednesday, it must be their weekend because they don't they only post once a day then and they have that post changed it for two days now. So <laughs> I you know, matter. I think maybe that's their weekend is Tuesday and Wednesday. Because I noticed that, you know, like on the holiday, everything was posted early in the morning and there's no changes at night. But then regular time it's posted in the morning and it changes again at night. So I post twice. So I've been trying to figure out what the deal is so I can I just know when to watch it. But I, I kept myself I wrote myself a chart. You know, oh my the, gracious! The hours are coming off and hours that go on, just to see. Because I mean, I know that April and May for me, there was very few watch hours coming off. Like the full month of May, the uh, first month of month, I had twenty-seven hours coming off yeah. in the, the whole month of, of April, and I did, I made that back in the first live I did. You know, right? So I wanted to see how many hours we, you know when they changed it. So I started watching it, like check, clicking on three or four times a day to see if they changed it. I. I would like to say don't do that because it'll drive you crazy. But uh, I promise you, I must have checked mine fourteen times a day when but I, I was doing it scientifically. It was scientifically. It oh, was a scientific. I was scientifically okay. ex experimenting, wanting to see when they were changing it. So that's why I said I think Tuesdays and Wednesdays are days off, and so they don't they don't make a change once in the morning. That's it. Okay. okay. So I, you know, I'm still I'm still in that scientific mode. I'm gonna. Keep an eye on it for the next, next month to see what changes. Well, there's somewhere in there where you're supposed to be able to see where uh, the most interest is at the times of your videos, mm -hmm. where it drops off, um, and to not do that, <laughs> to lose people's attention. Right. Do you want to pull that up, Gary? You want me to pull it up? I'm pulling it up right now. Okay. So I, I knew he was. And Chris is nodding his head like, oh, yeah. Now, there's a, a color chart on that. And I'm I'm not, I don't really just look at analytics all the time. You know, there's something now that's kind of, I don't really care if yeah. I, do, I don't, you know. Right. You know, when I got to that 990 subscribers, I was watching like every three hours, like, come on, right. come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Me too. But, I just do it because I, uh, because. Hey, I, I like numbers. And I like, I like to, you know, try to, I like to figure out things. I'm, I like to see how a clock ticks. You know, I'll take it apart to see how it works, but I can't I never get it back together again. So I just figure I take it apart and just, and just for the go. There you Here, go. Yeah. 
here's one. I mean, you see right at the beginning, it's a hundred percent. Right. You know, at, and I see the only thing I'm, I'm not sure on this is this could be the replay that it's going and still, I mean, this is a uh, two hour and five minute video. And I know that there's a lot of people that come in, they make a comment and then they leave. Um, sure. Well, I've certainly done that before. Sure. And I mean, I and tend I'll to take- leave it on for at least 15 minutes just because I want them, you know, to get the, yeah, I do that right. too. I try to stay 10 to 15 minutes, but then I just have to scoot sometimes. But if you look at some of these. Gary, yeah, bring up the, the chart that shows the uh, Monday through, uh, uh, Monday through, uh, or Sunday, or Sunday through Saturday through Sunday. It has a little purple lines every hour. But that's a live video, right, Gary? That was. That was that was a live, but it's listed as a live, you know, later, and it's, you know, accessible. Um, if you look at that back, you know, I chose a live stream just because it was uh, easy. You know, yeah. Well, it wasn't necessarily easier to, but it was you know more profound, I think, and gotcha. understanding. And then if you go through and let's look at a regular video. Um, I mean, find I, a regular video. I'm not sure how to um, figure out I, the regular I, video. I do know this. If you just say, you know, I'm just speaking for my own channel. I try to stay around a 10 minute video. You know, sometimes I go over, sometimes it's not at the end. If, if I have somebody just come in and watch for two minutes, then YouTube, I may have a thousand views on it, but only at two minutes. That just about kills that video. Yeah. They won't promote it. They won't give you a lot of impressions on it. I mean, so it's almost just as well off not to look at it if you're not only going to watch it for two minutes. Right. Right. Well, as far as as far as that is concerned, going through and uh, let's see if I can find one. There's Don one R. I got in here. Mark, got- Spider guy, glad to see you. Hey, oh, Brian so came in. Thanks for coming in. And I'm sorry if hey, I miss people. I don't have right now. I because of what I'm doing, I do not have the chat pulled up, and I cannot see it. I'm looking. And for the something. new Miss Maniac, AKW Farms says hello. Don R, you just said Don R, didn't you? I think I said, hey, Don, Don, yeah. yeah, so I see uh, Tamara and David come in, and yeah, they're, they're, along, uh, they're in my live dancing along with Reynolds. I guess I've yep. heard of those that channel before. I saw them today. Um, they were on uh, Rich Cat uh, Ranch. Okay, oh, I missed her. Okay, now, uh, oh, yeah. Gary from. Belt Loop 29, Bold Lion says, may I have your address, Belt Loop 29? I thought yeah. I had it, but I can't. Is it on your about page? Oh, um, my address, my mailing address is there um, on my about page. Um, and I will also tell you this, that... Uh, you can send me an email and I'll send it to you directly. But um, here's one that I've, you know, that's I kind of like that has a peak in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's. Uh, this is kind of funny. It's forty-five point eight percent viewed, and it you know, uh, average view duration is two twenty-seven. There's a big peak right here. Would y'all like to see what happens at the peak? <laughs> well, sure. Okay. I'm going to put it right there before it and hang on. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. You see what happens, right? My cousin <laughs> comes in. She's a very pretty girl. She is a pretty girl. Oh, yeah. so huge, huge, jump. huge jump in the view. Some people <laughs> just speeding through and looking for looking for that because I've got her right here on the uh, 
on the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> thumbnail, right? And so, okay, there you go. That I'm is see where she at. By the way, this is one of my funnier videos. I think uh, the name of it is a dozen questionable reasons you uh, to subscribe to my channel or something like that. Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, the actual name of it is a dozen questionable reasons to subscribe to the Belt Loop 29 channel. And uh, it, it's a funny video. I, it's one of my favorites uh, of all the ones I've got. You know, and all I did was come out and list a whole bunch of th stupid things that, you know, ain't going to happen. Um, <laughs> well, I said it's going to make your wife more, you know, amorous. I think that's one of them. It'll make your wife cooking better, you know. It'll, hey, your IRS check will be higher. <laughs> the, uh, okay, hey, I got. I think I got what Ann was talking about. Dancing alone with Reynolds, good to see you. Let me pull I back. I do. Chat again, uh, so I can see some of this. Ellsworth, Carl, hello. Hey, Ellsworth, tell Lacey I said hello. Hey, pull that up there, Gary. Hiking with Jackie boy. Hey, Kevin. Right. And this is what you're talking about right here. Okay. The lighter, the lighter, the, uh, the color. And actually, that's dark because it's just, can't, can't zoom in anymore. So, uh, but the yeah. bright color there, that means that's when most people watch it, is right there. The brighter. The brighter it is, the more. Yeah, right there. there. Right there. You see, the brighter it is, the more people are actually watching this. So they're recommending that I drop a video on Monday at 6 p.m. in the evening versus Monday at 2 a.m. Okay. I, so yeah, that's, I've that's seen that. Good. Yeah, right here between 4 and 10 o'clock at night is when the most people watch my video, videos or from 8 to 9 in the morning on Sunday they watch the videos. And right here on Wednesday, come on, well, yeah. from uh, 7 to... 10 is where most white people watch videos also. Yeah, you can look at that and tell when it's darker. And by darker, I mean it's not as bright. That's when the fewer. And, of course, you put your mouse on there, your cursor on there, and it'll tell you, you know, where the, uh, you know, where the folks are at. Yeah. Those times um, seem to be when every other person in the in YouTube puts their videos. Right. <laughs> You know, the most people on. I, 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 put, I upload a video every Saturday morning, every week, every Saturday morning, and at 6 a.m. Central Time is when I post. You know, I actually schedule it to come out because I've tried different times. Even though that analytics is telling me that at nine o'clock is my best time, I can do it at eight or nine o'clock, and my numbers drop dramatically. Okay, so I think that's something just to play with, right. even though. At Alex is telling you eight o'clock or nine o'clock or whatever. Yeah. Uh, like me and Jerry, we got kind of the same. He's got a farm. I've got a homestead. It's pretty similar. Well, most of us get up and wake the roosters up, you know. Yeah. Um, I think the earlier for us, like minded people get up a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's what works for us. Because I, I, yeah. I have all over, all over the time stamp. Six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight, nine, ten, and it just six just seems to be the magic number. Okay, well, good for you. Well, my thing ain't working real well. Keyboard again. I've got to get me a key, a uh, wired keyboard because this thing just don't work well. I did want to say hey to Urban Garden Chronicles, an old friend, you know, that's in here tonight, and I want to thank you for hey, being here. Urban Gardening and, uh, Chronicles, hey sweetie, and dancing alone with Reynolds says my videos are dark. You'd think you were an <laughs> Apollo astronaut looking back down on a dark planet. Oh gosh, <laughs> it happens. It happens sometimes. It does, and you know. <clears throat> And I don't know. I can't explain it. I'll have videos that hit a hit a thousand views like nothing, and then I can post some. I, I still got some from a couple of weeks ago that hit seventy five. I'm like, what? What happened with this video? You know, seventy five thousand. Yeah. No, seventy five. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, yes, yeah. that's really good. No, just yes. I was disappointed. You got seventy five. Seventy five is check this out. All right. 
I mean, my last one, I guess, was 1300. Tooth, 30, tooth 66. Here's a mail call. Only did 38. That put, you know, 1200, 600, 1500, 1400, almost 15. 200, 6, 538, 1100. It's, it's really all over the map. Even though I go through, uh, I do go through and I put, I, I drop them when it says the most of my viewers are on. And so, uh, hey, Cali King, good to see you. Don't worry about watching ads. I ain't worried about that, brother. So just go ahead and click on the pass. And uh, I, don't, I don't care about, I never have cared about the uh, money from YouTube ads and that type of thing. Um, well, I don't you care know. about being monetized, really. When you see the amount is two dollars and thirty five cents from your ads, it's like okay. It's not a lot, but <laughs> I just want to do it so I have to worry about you know hours dropping off and stuff. You know, and have to work yeah. a little longer. It's like in well, June, I have five hundred hours dropping off. Right. That, you know, yeah. if I that, that I I'm sorry, people, Chris. Uh, we can buy about five bags of chicken feed with the money we make off YouTube every month. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, you know, the thing is, once you get monetized on it, I can start playing, have more fun. I can start posting a video when a football game is on and see if people watch the football game versus the video, you know? Yeah. And see, because I think a lot of that has to do with what's on natural TV. If there's a, uh, you know, if there's an election that's going on, people come to YouTube to get away from that stuff, you know? So there's, yeah, your videos good. are going to more, have more hits. If there's a, you know, a riot going on, you yeah. may not have very many clicks if people may watch the news. I think that has a little bit to do with it. You know? Yeah. Hey, hey, Lillian. Uh, but I can't tell until I get that monetized, and then I can play with that. I'll I'll post a video oh, during a football game or something like that, just to see what if it gets any hits. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. I was laughing at Dancing Alone with Rentals. The only time I hear 100 is when I'm opening the utility bills. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yours is only 100? That's good. My yeah. street that. Yeah, my, I have quite. That's all made a good point, too. I was reading there. You know, talking about another channel can just sit there and drink a cup of coffee and basically get 100,000 views, you know? Yeah. I've seen that, yeah. too. This is yep. trash. They get 200,000 views in three days, and it's yeah. nothing, you know? Well, I would say here's the thing, though. Uh, let me show you one video that I yeah. have done that is uh, the, the key is getting something that people are going to play over and over again because you continue to get subscribers, you continue to get, you know, watch time, you continue to get, you know, you get a lot of stuff when you, you know, when you have uh, what they term an evergreen video. Yes, um, evergreen. And so... That's, the, I've, I've got, got a couple videos. of videos. Well, I've got a couple of videos that do that. I mean, it's, I've got that hoop coat video, and it's constantly getting thousands of views a month. I've got my quail hutch, my 10-minute quail hutch video, and it's catching up to the hoop coop. It's always that's fabulous. Neck, neck and neck, and I'm always pulling for the, for the quail cage. Come on, quail cage. Catch up, catch up, catch up. <laughs> but it's several it's several months behind the other video. Okay. Let me, get, let me show you all this real quick. Work on that. Every um break. I mean you can tell because you go through and you look over here at the published date, and most all of these are fairly recent, but you know, you drop down and then you see one. This one is the one, especially this time of year, it ain't been played in the last, you know, sixty minutes, but in the last forty eight hours, I guess it's got thirteen, which ain't a lot. But if I go through and look at it, you know, look at the analytics on it, you can see that it's something that has a tendency in the spring. It starts to take off and continues to go. And you got eight subscribers from it. So that's good. That's right. And that's and it'll continue. People will continue to watch this, you know, and I've got four or five, about five different types of tomatoes in this taste test. Um, my favorite of which was the black creme. I hate to give away secrets, but you know. And look, he's got three million, three three million thirty six thousand dollars out of it. 
Wow. Well, $20 and 36 cents. Woohoo. Woo woohoo. Um, now, well, I have picked up eight subscribers, 320 hours from it. And I think awesome. that, you know, if you do tomato, you know, tomato taste tests tend to be, tend to be uh, fairly popular. Um, but I'll I think. I'll do one of those. <laughs> but P Pedroza Travel says evergreen is a new word for them. So if you guys want to explain what evergreen means. Sure. It's, I guess you could say that it's just ever uh, constantly renewing itself. Maybe. Hey, Ryan, good to see you. I see we got Ryan, the tech guy in here. You know, he showed devil dog how to do, you know, uh, how to do um, Nightbot, And he is the one that came up with the slap command that you see in a lot of these live streams where they slap this person or slap that person. Oh my gosh. That's cool. So he's he's a really neat fella. He's having to redo his his uh, his channel though. If y'all uh, get a chance, thanks, Roy. If everybody in here is blue. They should be able to stay follow with him me, really. his channel. Um, but Ryan, anyhow, you can go through and look at the dates. An evergreen video is just one that people continue to watch. You know. I did a video on cultivator attachment Ryobi 40 volt power, you know, battery powered. Uh, it's a cultivator. It's there's not a whole lot of people out there who have videos on cultivators. At least there weren't at the time. I assume they still in. Hey, travel with special abilities. Good to see you. And Freedom um, Redbird is in here, Miss Brenda. Oh, hey Brenda. The uh, but. If you can find a video where the competition is not as high and but yet the interest is there, you know, a lot of times people, hey, Scratch and Pete PA, good to see you. Um, a lot, a lot of times that's good. Oh, by the way, I was one of the things I wanted to show y'all tonight is hey, some research. Pete. Let me show y'all some research and how you know something that you can do, everybody here can do to help their videos and their titles and their subject matter. Okay. Um, let me go through, uh, since I'm still showing this, uh, sharing this, go to Google. All right. Let's say, for example, you have goats. All right. Type in goats. All right. Well, see my I have oh. this keyboard. All right. Goats. All right. Once you type in goats, you know, some of the subjects are sale near me, a uh, sale Jackson, for sale Jackson, shoes, a uh, goat milk. This tells you some of the things that it brings up the most popular searches on those things. But okay. you know, let's take that a step further. Let's put a space and put a goats and soda, goats as pets, goats as at prom, goats and sheep, goats and coffee, goats and soda meaning. Goats and sheep Bible, goats and chickens together, goats, animal crossing, goats and dogs. Well, those are going to be, obviously, if it's coming up, it is something that people are searching for because those are the most common associated searches with goats. Then you go B, goats beard planet, goats beard, goat, goats breeds, goat baby, goat bleats, goat butter, goat butter heads, goat goat's blood, goat's beard wane, goat's breath strain, and you just go through and see. You get, you know, just type in the first letter once you get that in there. But, hey, nurse on the run, good to see you. And I'm sorry if I missed anybody. You know, um, what this does is it allows you to see the, it allows you to see what people are searching for. So type, in go, type in goats and cattle. All right, well, Kelly and Tammy. Hey, honey. All right. That's not one of the top ones that come up. But yeah, there's right there. and, cattle. and there's some goats and but it is something that you know that is searched because and that's my biggest that's my biggest uh yeah, that's video. I'm aware. And goats and cattle farm, goats and cattle paddles, goats and cattle fencing, goats and cattle graze together. Hey Marines um, and Army Mom. See, the thing about that particular title, hey, Marines and Army Mom, always a pleasure to see you, ma'am. Um, one of the things about that particular title is it's specific enough and it's vague enough to where it catches people's attention. 
Right. And so that's one of the reasons, you know, but you can go through and type in any, um, anything. And if, if you're interested, if you have goats and that's the videos you do, you know, type it in. That's not going to start doing it. Get my, get my, my title names. Yeah, that sounds great. And Beth hey. Cornette has come in. Uh, hey, Beth. We Hi. have, of course, you've already said, hey, to Scratch and Pete. Yeah. There's a number of other people that are saying hello. Hey, to so te Texas cattle and hey. Now, That's if fun. you're on, hey, Kelly and Tammy's journey, thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, hey, Beth. Yeah. The, uh, Man, it's pouring rain out there. But it's supposed to be like that here tomorrow in North Carolina, but we had that today. Well, maybe Saturday. But if, if you go through, if you're serious about, if you want to do a little bit of research, and I would say a little bit of research can go a long way when you're titling your when you're titling your uh, video. Well, thank you. No. Hang on. Hang on. Dun, 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 dun. I gotta play the video now, so y'all hang on just a second. Dance. I think people do. I think people do that just to see that video. <laughs> it makes me dance. <laughs> it is, it's a nice video. I enjoy that one. The uh, Southern Clara. You know, thank you, Devil Dog, for that. Devil Dog has done so much for me, and I'm very appreciative um, of all that he's done. Good time. Hey, Jen. I'm Good Zaxon. I'm dead. I'm Zaxon. Um, I'm. I'm only seeing the ones that's over here on my on my channel at the moment. Nurse on the run. 17 over there. South Texas cattle and hay. Hello. They said we had a blast of rain and hail two hours ago. Oh, wow. It came down hard. Oh, gosh. I hope your cars and vehicles are okay. Hey, Jen. I understand, Nurse. We, we, had, that, we had that here um, Thursday. It came down like you wouldn't believe the hail and but it blew here through here so quickly, it di it didn't leave much rain on the ground. I wish it would stay that part will stay just a little bit longer, but you now vendors can't be choosers. Hey right. Jerry, there's something I want to see from your videos. Okay. I want to see more, more llamas. That's what I want to see. You want to see what? More llamas. More llamas. Well, we're hoping, we're hoping that we're going to have more another llama baby here pretty quick. Cool. That an awesome video there. You know, and uh, uh, we're you know, hey, we're going to try, try to buy a few more females. Can Can you take that uh, money thing off there, Gary, so I can see I can see Chris? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. Oh, he's got me all. There it is. Yeah, got covered up with. You were behind yeah. the. Dollar well, ninety nine. Um, anyways, uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna try. You know, we're gonna do another llama video when uh, when she has another baby. But uh, the problem with baby with llamas is they are, are eleven months in between having babies. So, you know, we got one male, one female. We got an extra male baby from last year, and so uh, or actually almost two years old now. So we're trying to buy some more females so, so we can have. I would, I'd like to get like four or five more females. Wow. So, uh, you know, it'd be because I mean, the baby llamas are so much fun, they're such a blast. <laughs> hey, coffee walks and whatever. Do your llamas um allow you to touch them? Everybody I see, their llamas are not friendly. Yeah, my my male llama was, was raised in a, in a house, so he doesn't have a fear of people. Oh, and now that he's breeding age, he's gotten kind of aggressive. Mm -hmm. Um, he'll spit there. If you watch a couple of videos, he actually will spit on you. Yeah. And, and my wife go out there to, to feed him and he'll spit on you. It's like, dude, you want to be fed? Why are you spitting on me? You know? <laughs> yeah. 
But That's I've not, had people. I've had people stop at the, at the road to look at him because he is really a very pretty llama. Yeah. And I've had people stop at the road. They want to go up and hit him. And I, I keep. I hear the dogs be barking because there's a car, a car out there, and I run out there. Don't put your hands over there. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know. Because yeah. they go, oh, he's so pretty. He he wants us to pet him. I go, no, no, he wants you to get close enough to spit on you. That's what he wants to do. <laughs> you know, they, they, they tell you, oh, no, no, he won't spit on me. I say, okay, I'm just forewarning you. As soon as he spits on you, you would, you know, it, they use a stomach pile is what they, they spit on you. Yeah, it's not, it, it, they bring it up from their stomach, and it smells oh, horrendous. Yeah, It's almost right. as bad as a skunk. Yeah. But I think, I think. I'd rather be sprayed by a skunk than spit on by a llama. Oh, no. Oh. I mean, that's, that's really honestly. But uh, he has gotten this so aggressive that we have to be careful because uh, I had, he used to be okay when I had, had him in my hand. I could pet him and stuff. And I was holding him back one day. And my wife was taking some, putting some hay out for the cows. And I was holding him back. And, and uh, uh, my son was driving through the tractor and that gate open. And when they got done, I just let him go and turn my back on him. And I should never have done that. I should have pushed him away and then turned my back on him. But I turned my back on him and he jumped up with his back feet and he ran me into my back. Oh no. He ran me to the back. I started running forward trying to catch my breath, my balance again. Well, my feet aren't as fast as they used to be. And I face planted in the ground because I had one oh, hand no. back one back hand back trying to keep him off of me. And I face planted in the ground and was wiping my whole side of my face off. I had, there's still a little mark right here. From when oh, they no. happened, and uh, I placed him on the ground, and my wife and my son had to come over and grab him because he, he actually landed on me, oh, and to get him off of me. Of course, my face was all ripped up and turned red and road rash and stuff. And uh, so ever since then, we're all being a little more cautious. We don't turn our back on it. He's oh, okay. he's more unpredictable than a, my bull. My bull oh. is way more protective. Protective. You can tell when he's he's not happy. But at Lama, you just never know. You just never know when it's going to turn on you. So, but he's doing his job. I mean, he's protecting things. I mean, you know, and I haven't had a, I haven't had a coyote in the yard one yet. Um, and I, I have lost a couple of chickens to, to raccoons, but that's because he's not in that yard, or I don't think they, they'd be there. Hey, y'all, do me a favor, real quick, while we're here. Um, I would like for I am dropping links over in my channel. Um, click on the links and try to show some support. These are the people that are in here that are support. Make sure that you're uh, connected with each of these people and uh, traveling with special abilities. And uh, yeah. I'm, I may not get to all of them. I'm, I'm trying to. Um, I just want to make sure that you know we build a good, strong community together. Well, there are a OJ, number of OJ from coffee walks and whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm, cool I'm moving up, not down. So, um, hey, Linda Peterson, she's in here. She can drop links for me. There are a number of new channels in here that. I haven't had an opportunity to meet a lot of traveling and hiking tra uh, channels and things like that, which is wonderful to be able to see. So I'll have to go back and watch and click on the links to. Yeah, hiking with, Jack, with Jackie Boy, that's Kevin. He's a friend of uh, Back Row Freedom, J Justin's. I met him and he comes in my in the videos a lot and she chats with us. Yeah, they I, I have him. a lot of good people here. Uh, I mean, they both have pretty good video, pretty good content. Yep. Some be beautiful scenery, if nothing else, you know. And our Oki is Marie, who's yeah. very, very dear to me because she's the first first sticker I got from anybody. Oh. So, uh, she, you know. she is, she's a sweet Good girl. Right. She is some kind of special. Yep. Make, make it a point to check these channels out. Click on the links and, uh, and connect with them. Or at least put them on a, a watch later list or something like that, so that you can, uh, um, so that you can go through and uh, um, check them out. Yeah. Because you know we're all stronger when we when we do um, when we work together. Yeah. 
about loop you are so awesome at that as far as well, all your community posts that you put everyone's link out all of your promoting everyone else you just have you're you're wonderful at that and i wow. thank you for that he, he's the don youtube he promotes everybody that's yeah. right very good right. people <laughs> and you, think, go ahead there's a lot of good people out there and, and the only way that we're going to get to know one another is if we do actually go through and and put an effort into it. That's right. My channel ain't nothing special. The, well, let me rephrase that. The only thing special about my channel is the fact that we got a lot of awesome people to come here. We do. And so, we do. You uh, do. I see Blue Mountain Outdoors. I, if you can switch to it and put something in the chat, uh, Bobby, I can go through and click that, you know, throw that link up here as well. Okay. And Jerry, I wanted to share with you something there. Uh, and you probably already know this. But there's a lot of people that when they get ready, to, when they're getting close to that 4,000 hours and then they keep hearing, oh, my gosh, I've got to keep 4,000 hours up every every year. But that's not what they told me right. when it's, I was. Yeah, that's you just not have, what I've read. You just have to stay active. Yeah, stay active, stay, stay putting up posting videos so they can have views. Right. Now, my view, my view counts. I mean, I've already been doing it for 18 months, uh, almost 18 months, and I'm at 120, 223,000 views. That's wonderful. So I get a lot of views. It's just I don't get a lot of uh, a lot a lot of long term watching. I mean, like I said, I have one video out there. Gary, I talked about this last week. One video that's got 20,000 views on it, but the average viewing of it is less than two minutes. What, join the family. It's yeah. A, yeah, it's a 15 minute video. If everybody had all those 120,000 people had watched it, I'd have 5,000 hours by now. Yeah. Well, you know? I told, yeah, I wasn't getting hours for a while because I watched that analytics and the two minute thing. Yep. So I started making like two and three minute videos. And I have a lot like that too. I mean, you know, as soon as I do a video and it may be, you know, four, five, eight minutes long. And I said, well, I don't have nothing else to go with it. And say, heck, heck, we'll just go ahead and put it out there for people to see, you know. <laughs> and when it's not like, it's not, yeah, it's not eight minutes. Jesse told me, Jerry, start making a video between eight minutes and, and 18 minutes. I said, yeah. okay. But what happens if I don't have enough to make eight minutes? And he goes, put it with something else. I'm going, but I, it doesn't flow. I, I don't <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, let me let me make it relative for you. When I was talking with uh, Cog Hill Family Farm, I was talking to Jason, and mm -hmm. I said, uh, you know, my, my analytics say people li listen to me for two minutes. And then he said, two minutes? That's pretty good. <laughs> I thought, oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I tell you, Cog Hill, they're one of the few channels that I actually still watch from when they were a, a, a small channel. Yeah, me too. Got big because a lot of these, the same homesteading channels that got big, they just changed their ways and just went off course, went off, you know. Yeah. But, but Cog Hill seems to be, they're, they're steady, they're still on course with they, what they started out to be. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, Jason's the one that turned me on to Filmora. You know, and he because I met him. Remember when he was at that conference yeah, you and I uh -huh. went to, and uh, I, I and he come up, everybody said, "Oh, you need to go talk to Jason. You need to talk to Jason. He knows about editing." It's okay, so I went to talk to him. Him and I talked for like two hours about editing programs, and he said, "Well, do you have for more?" And I said, "Well, no, I have this other program." He said, "Well, yeah, I go check out for more. It costs X amount of dollars, but you can get it for free for so long." You know, well, I I love it. I mean, I absolutely love it to for, for editing, and I found out there's an editor on. Uh, I have a uh, regular, uh, what's oh, shoot, not uh, Google, but uh, uh, Mac, uh, Macintosh, what do you call it, or C CPU, um, Windows, dang, I'm Metal Block, I've got Windows, and Windows has, and it, I just found out that it has any program on it, oh, gross. But, okay. but I'm not, I'm not going to, I don't want to change, so I like what I, I like what, what I'm using, it's so much, it's fun to use. Yeah, I've been using a lot of music off of it. Like, I don't know if you saw my last video I put out yesterday, the, the uh, fishing video, the anger, anger April video. I haven't yep. gotten a chance to you see haven't that. Seen that. Well, 
that one, you, I don't want to say that until you see it because I, you know, I, I don't want to give it away. But if you go watch that video and then let, come back to me or email me or something like that, what, what you think I appreciate because I spend a lot of hours on that video. That's why that video, I probably spend more hours filming and editing that video than I have any other video that I've had. Oh, it, took me, it took me three, four weeks to get that video completed. So, and and Tom, special ability says that they have film more. I just use iMovie and it's really bad in my editing. Really, I stuff. love it. I, I love film more. I mean, you know, even if I mean, I pay for it, but I pay a monthly charge for it. But to me, it's worth it because I get to use all the music in it that I want. And I get copyrights supposedly on it, but. All the ones I've got copyrights that none of them are strikes. It just says not, there's no no I don't know what campus it is now. No no strike against you. This this it's copyright that you yeah, know, it won't be monetized. Right. Well no, it won't it won't affect you. It says it will not affect you. Even if it's monetized, it won't affect you. Because there's yeah, no strike on it. If there's a copyright on it though, I don't think they monetize them. Well, I don't I, a copyright here as it says uh not affected. I'm not affected. So okay, I could be. Okay. Hey, I don't know if uh, it's like it is a music I use off of Filmora. The Happy Gardener. Okay. So, I I don't know. We'll have to wait till I get monetized and see if they if that gets doesn't get monetized. If it doesn't, you know, I'll dispute it because it was the music came from from Filmora, which I paid for. Right. And yeah, if you I'm, pay for it, I'm you should be able to use it. Fine. It I'm sorry, Chris. I said, I've only had one time where YouTube tried to put a strike against me. I think I was uh, cleaning rabbits or chickens or something. I didn't even show the dispatch of it. But, of course, they sent me a thing, and I appeared. I'm like, I didn't even dispatch the, the animal on, on site, you know. I said, and immediately they took it off. So I guess it's uh, robots that's doing this, whatever they call them, bots or something. That's, yeah. The algorithms. Good grief, you know. Yeah, that, they're really strict on that. Well, I used a song one time. I used, I used a song one time. A friend of mine told me I, he's a, he plays uh, banjo. And he said he, he sent me all these videos that he did on the banjo. He said, you use anything you want on it. I said, great. Well, one of them was a song that he was showing that was from another band. And I used it, and I got a thing that says that it was it was going to be a, um, a strike on me. So wow. I, all I did was went back and just took it off and, and put another put one of his songs on there, and it went away. But then oh, I started seeing these other ones, and I thought, well, I'm not going to worry about those until I find out how to get monetized. If that will change it, but well, most of the I use now is all from from Aura. Well, course, the and they, some of these songs are being hacked, and when you use them, even though they're not supposed to be a copyright issue. These other people that's hacked these songs are, are putting a copyright on you, and somehow they are stealing channels and, and doing shady stuff from what I the research I've seen. But there's something well, there's crazy and shady going on when that happens. But the best thing to do is just delete that music, put a different music in there, right. or just no music at all. You know. Well, you, there are a couple of things if you're getting music from Filmora. And it's supposed to be, you know, hey, Randy, good to see you. Another member of the channel, thank you for being in here. Uh, if you've got a, uh, you've got, you can, I think there's something you can go through and add to. There's uh, about in the, in the title that talks about how uh, the music is copyrighted through Filmora has been authorized um, to where I it will. In the, in the description, right in the description, and yeah. so um, that may be able to cut down. I had a, uh, I've had a couple of issues lately. In fact, I had somebody come up on my channel right here, played one of their own song that yeah. somebody else laid a, a copyright to. I've kind of left it on here, you know, so that I can show. You know, it's a bunch of bull. It ain't. It ain't. You know. It's somebody else's, it's their original music. Right. And yet somebody else laid a copyright to it. It's a. It's on a live stream, so it ain't like people are watching that anyhow. Hey, Nate, good to see you. A land cloud yeah. adventure. Well, you know, you got 
people to try to hijack everything, thinking they're making they're going to make a buck off doing something shady. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, yeah, no. <laughs> it's like no. trying to send extended warranty over the phone five times a day. You know. That's right. Hey, y'all, I got a call today. I mean, you know, we all get those calls for extended warranty for your car. I got a call today for an extended warranty for my lawnmower. <laughs> I've never gotten that one before. <laughs> well, did you get one when you got your lawnmower originally? Did you, did you well, lawnmower? it was from Sears, which is where we did buy it, but it wasn't real. It was those, you know. Oh, somebody had somebody. People. <laughs> oh. Well, they're going to warranty them goats out there that's eating that grass up. Right. <laughs> I had to laugh. That is funny. <laughs> the, uh, but I have, and if anybody cares to drop some links in here, most everybody, everybody, as far as I can tell, is blue. Uh, somebody can feel you know, uh, free to do it. And uh, I'm sure other folks would notice. Yeah, and they can drop twenty nine in the in your chat. And uh, Jerry, have you had anyone set up where people could drop their own links in your chat yet? No, not yet. I, I Gary, and I keep saying we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We just never get around to doing it. So, yeah. you know, I yeah. had it, but I I turned it off. Oh, you turned it off? Yeah. I have you know I have well usually Jesse's in here. On um, my, you know, he he drops links like crazy. I mean, he's yes, he does. he's better than any any uh, uh, night bot. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, oh, yeah, I've got, right now I've got Linda and Tamara and and Heather's in here and uh, OJ's in here. There, you know, I got some good monitors and they, you know, they can drop links in there. That's uh, they can ask them to drop a link and they can do it for them if they want. I try to drop a few links of people I, you know, I keep an eye on, but I, you know, it's kind of hard to talk. Pay attention talking. I got two monitors, so I have to look over here to my monitor to see what my chat's saying and look over here, you know. So I, you know, I, I sometimes I'm neglected the chat because I'm more interested in what we're saying on the, on the screen. Yeah, sure, sure. So, and I apologize to anybody that may, I may have neglected, that, you know, I'm only human. Oh, well, everybody comes up on the screen yard chat anyway. Right. Um, from all the, all over the place. So, you know. You can talk to your people that way. Yeah. And with having Jesse and other really awesome moderators, um, then if you're talking about anyone specifically, usually they're, they'll drop their links. And right. That's awesome. But I can't keep up with the chat. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm getting better at it. I mean, the first time Gary and I did this, he goes, did you see that? And see what? <laughs> Just <laughs> almost said, "Heidi, where?" Yeah. You know, and I, you know, I, I, I'm getting better at it. it it's good it, for you. Uh, it's well, starting to get more comfortable. There's 36 people in here right now, so I've got 13. You got 23. Well, I'm hoping that they make it a point to go and check out some of these other channels. Um, That's awesome. Pretty much everybody in here is green. Uh, I mean, blue. And so they can go and, and I have dropped a lot of links in here. And hopefully, by the way, I don't think I've dropped Chris's in a while. So let me go through and drop Chris's. Um, he's over yeah. in California right now. So he can't exactly. And so, know. Chris, what are you doing in California? Well, I'm having to do a little bit of consulting for the gas and oil industry of California. Oh, are you a welding, a welding inspector? Yeah. Well, I'm technically a chief inspector. It makes me feel chief a little inspector. bit better. You know. <laughs> well, that would be an important position. So. Well, Chris, I used to do underwater welding. Really? Yeah. Underwater welding. Yeah, in the Navy. That's what I did. Underwater welding and cutting in the Navy. Wow. That, that always interested me. I mean, I've never done it. But I was always amazed on how that, that process worked. I, I met a guy here in Missouri who was a taxidermist, and he asked me if I wanted to be an, a welding inspector. And I said, well, where? He goes, you have to go to Texas. I said, no. <laughs> thank you, but no, thank you. It's a little warm down there. He wanted me to go out down there in the summertime. I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, <laughs> if you ask me in wintertime, I go. I've been all over West Texas and out here in the desert. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm literally like an hour 
from Mexico and an hour from Arizona. So Where is it, my chat? So you're out in the Imperial Valley right now? Sir? You're in the Imperial Valley? No, you're, you said you were in Palm Springs, right? Close to Palm Springs, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I, my daughter, my my oldest, my, my only daughter, li used to live in Palm Springs. Okay, I'm actually in Indio, which is just. Okay, I know where Indio's at. Yeah, but uh, you know, it, it gets 118 degrees. But you know what? I still be here in the summer, in Mississippi. Because well, it's dry heat out there. Yeah, Mississippi heat. If it only, if it's only 95, but 80 percent humidity. That's tough. Yeah. It does what we have here in North Carolina. It's it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, the humidity is something else. Uh, being here in San Diego, at least the wind blows out here. You know. Oh, uh, you know what? Come to Missouri. The wind hasn't stopped blowing in three weeks. It's like I thought we moved to Chicago. Hmm. I mean, you know, they call Chicago the wind is today. Did we move to Chicago and somebody didn't tell me? She says no. So why is the wind still blowing? I mean, it, it hasn't let up. 20 to 25 miles an hour all the time. It's ridiculous. Well, I, got those, wind, I am I got one. Their link dropped. I got those vent visors on my truck, and uh, one tore right off the other day, like Monday. Oh, my I mean, goodness. Like, so we've been working around Whitewater, and if you don't know about Whitewater, there's all these windmills out there. These yep. they're, they're enormous. Half of them work, half of them don't. But anyway, that's for another story time but the wind is terrible out there and it just ripped that it wound up flapping about an inch da, 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 and then all of a sudden it just ripped off oh my goodness yeah, you're you're in the you're in the windy part of that desert out yep. there yep wow we haven't had very bad weather not so you've been having some heavy rains and stuff we have been having some heavy rains and things and we're you know we're in hurricane territory yes. so in the fall or late august is when we'll start watching out and preparing for hurricanes yeah well, i'm in the torn it was supposed to be the tornado belt but this year it seems like all the tornadoes are staying south and going through oklahoma and arkansas and heading straight east from there they usually come up in the missouri and we you know it's not uncommon in missouri you have 40 or 50 tornadoes in the year. We haven't had any, as far as I know, except for one that was down there in the boot hill that killed the five people. Mm-hmm. Mm. We've had it a couple like this year or so in Mississippi. You have? Yes, there has been. I was going to ask you if you were affected by the tornadoes that went through. No, I mean, it was actually just in the Delta, which is about an hour and a half west of us where it hit. Uh, that the one in Rolling Fork is about an hour and a half away, but uh, I mean, you can ask Belt Loop. It's it's not it's not crazy to say we can get a lot of tornadoes every year. It just depends on how they touch down for and what they what they tear up. Uh, yeah, that's scary. That's scary. I was in North Dakota, it's been about twelve years ago. And we was in the middle of a tornado up there, and I never knew North Dakota had tornadoes. Well, I had heard California is starting to have tornadoes, so I think the weather is just changing all over. It is. Uh, they had one out here uh, close to L.A., but I don't think it ever touched down or, or nothing like that. Because mm. uh, I was actually talking to somebody out here. I said, man, I said, you know, Mississippi is very rural. I said that one killed twenty three people. Wow! I said, imagine something like that hitting L.A. Oh, I said, right. That a popular. I said you would have over five thousand people gone. You know that. Well, that's because there's no place. There's no shelters in L.A. There's nothing that right. can handle it. You know, like right. you, you go to Oklahoma City, where they have they're used to tornadoes. There's there's tornado shelters all around. Right. Yeah. Well, we well, have had some tornadoes here, but. Uh, it's usually when a nor'easter comes through or um, some sort of hurricane. Well, I mean, Mississippi, is, we got tornadoes, then you got the hurricane. Now, I'm in central Mississippi. I'm about just about an hour north of Belt Loop there. Okay. If, even if a hurricane comes through, we kind of get all the winds and everything off of the hurricane. 
Because, I mean, the, the coast is probably, what, two hours south of you? I can make it to the coast in two and a half, three hours. Okay. Well, Belt Loop's busy. He's dropping yeah, links. I think he's yeah, busy. Um, <laughs> we, had a, we had a tornado come through my family property and tore up. In fact, I was headed to go stay in my cousin's room that was down there on the property and it ripped the wall off. And the, if I was five minutes earlier, it ripped the wall off and the bed that I was going to be sleeping in was out in the yard. Oh um, my gracious. It ripped the roof off of my, my grandparents' place. It, uh, I mean, it, it was just, it was, uh, it snapped, you know, trees that were trees that were, you know, that big, well, foot and a half, two foot across, snapped them like twigs, 15 feet in the air. Um, oh, my amazing. It was, you know, and I showed up, I was trying to get down there about the time that happened. Um, I was late, running late. I'd stayed a little late at the office. And, uh, but we had, we had, uh, uh, it tore up and, you know, completely destroyed a couple of, uh, of uh, channels. I'm not channels of uh, houses down there. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. It's so scary. Coffee Walk said they've had tornadoes in Canada. That's I didn't know that happened. Yeah, I thought that was a southern yeah. Midwestern thing, you know. Yeah, it, yeah it's. It, it, I think a lot of things is changing all over. That's um, right. I, mean, I know Coffee Walks. He, he showed a, a live video of the, the river breaking up, and I was watching it and stuff, and he saw how it was, it was yeah, I, he said, I don't know what the temperature was. It was like 30, let me see, it was like 6 Celsius like that, which I'm not sure what that is, like, like 35, 36 degrees. It was, warm, it was warming up, and then the very next day, they had a snowstorm come through again. Oh, he was out there with the, you know, I watched, I watched it today. He was out there in the snow. It got cold and snowing again. It's like what? Yeah. Something happened over here where everything I'm just totally right. blacked out. All right. Well, everything we blacked out. You, Gary? Well, everything seems okay at the moment. It was just the screen, I think. Oh. But oh, goodness. If everything, hey, if everything goes to heck in a handbasket, I can always go into my phone and end the stream. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you do need to be able to end it. <laughs> well, if not, it's going to keep well, going on. Hey, baby. Hey, 24, really. hours. <laughs> 24 oh, hours. But I'm not here for 24 hours, I can promise you. Babes in Toyland and other things. Hello. Um, and Linda Peterson has, has said that she could certainly use some prayer. She's having some issues and had to go to the ER, but um, she's counting on her buddies to look after and we'll certainly keep you in there and would something's, wrong with my, something's wrong with my monitor it's starting to freak out a little bit uh -oh. that weather that's twice yeah. well i don't think it's weather because the lights stayed on you didn't wore it out but luke well, <laughs> you it's, out. It's you're gonna have another one now you'll, now you'll be down to three uh-oh something's wrong though I'm sorry, but do, you have a multitude of screens, though, right? Well, I have two screens. Okay. Um, and uh, I've one got I'm, one right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it hard to read the, the chat, too, doesn't it, Chris? Actually, actually, I improved. I brought my iPad. I can read the chat through my iPad. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. I, I have to open hey, it Mark. up bigger. You know, I'm getting. I can't work. I can't hardly really see anymore. So, Mark Kratz says, Gary, it's the loose nut behind the keyboard. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have to, I am going to have to quit dropping links. Anybody else is welcome to do that, though. Um, You're bringing out your keyboard, dropping those links. <laughs> no, he's saying the loose nut. I think he means the one that's in front of the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, not behind the keyboard. Oh, um, I did want them. I did want and, you know, that brings up another interesting thing, Babes in Toyland and her uh, and her uh, name on there. It has an icon or an emoji at the beginning of the, of yep. the thing. 
I, I, you know, it does exactly. make me wonder if it makes it harder. It does for people to search that. It um, is. It's very much harder I, to find it. I know it's almost impossible to go through and uh, auto complete it when it's done that way. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I can't help but wonder if that's uh, if that has an effect on somebody's uh, channel and how well it grows. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think if you know, put emoji in your name, it should be at the end of your name. Not the beginning of it. Well, and it's still hard even then. As a moderator, I used to be a mod. Well, I still am, but I'm not as active as I was. But I was a moderator on probably 30 channels. And right. um, it's very hard to drop links when people have a, an icon or an asterisk or a unusual symbol in their name of their channel. Yeah. And I, I've seen that a lot of times if you go in these bigger chats, if you have an emoji, they're going to kick you out because they think you're one of these scammers, or, you know, whatnot. That's right. That pops up yeah, too. they do. They sure do. Oh. Missouri Outlaw. Hey. Randy. Randy Tola. Is Randy at home or is he on the road still? I don't know. I don't you know can either. ask him. Hey, Randy, are you at home yet? Or are you on the road? Hey, DJ Wraith, good to see you. Oh, I see. Babes in Toyland uh, and other things says that there's a reason for that, that he has some issues with someone and they're following him everywhere. So he tries to, there oh. or her. I, I don't know him I don't or her. Oh, okay. I don't Trying to be a little incognito, and here we bring attention to it. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> DJ. That that's not our DJ, is it? Is that DJ our DJ? Wraith? DJ Wraith. Yeah, uh, I just posted there. Yeah, I just posted their link. Yeah, is that the, is that our DJ with Level Dog, or is that no? Okay, I don't think so. Well, that's what I was asking. You know, he has several channels too, and you never yeah, know. Yeah. Who you never know who those are. <laughs> I am looking. I am ready. I'm with at the moment, right. I'm just dropping links. You know, <sighs> at the moment, I'm just dropping links. I, you know, uh, my my brain's already frazzled from trying to figure out what's going on with my mind. So, Is it back up yet, Randy? What am I missing? Tell me, wake up! I'm awake. What am I? What did I miss? Wake up, Jerry. He thinks you're leaning back and getting ready to take a nap. No, I, uh, you know, I'm, hey, I'm just getting started. I was up till three o'clock this morning. It's nice to meet you too, babes in Toyland. Hey, DJ Ray. Clint Howard and Charlie Shane. I'll, I'll drop my link. I like, I like Moe. I can drop my link. Just type BFF. <laughs> <laughs> there well, you go. That sounds good. Hey, Jan. Simply Jan finally came in. Oh, Jan's got that fiber. Yeah, in she's that fiber opposite. She's a fast girl now. I she forgot about fast that. So she's fast and loose. She's excited. In here, in Ann Dale, all you have to do is type in Ann Dale, and it'll drop your link. Yes, I um, am. For some reason, you're not able to type in the chat when I'm on StreamYard, when I'm on yeah. the panel. Oh, really? Mm -mm. You well, can't break it. Sorry. Oh I, oh no! I mean, if you're if you're on somebody else's panel, that's right. You don't have that ability to do that. And I can that, read it, but I can't chat in it. Um, I, I guess I just meant in the uh, in the chat. Oh, you yeah, yeah. That's oh, you right. mean in the in the in the Streamyard chat? No, no, no on his channel, no, on Belt Loop's channel. If I type in Andale then um, it does drop my link over there. Oh. He's so cute. He has a bunch of nicknames for all of us. So. Yep. I do have, I got a bunch of uh, individual commands for different folks. Uh, <laughs> Devil Dog set it up for me. I can't remember them all. <laughs> it's, them. it's a different one for just about every one of your regular people. It is. And some folks don't actually come around anymore these days. Some do. You know, hey, Simply Jan, good to see you. Well, that um, happens to everyone. It even happens to me when I go, I, you know, I just get out of the routine of hey, nine acres. There's nine acres. There's Dale. 
my my, my BFF from from uh, uh, yeah, Can yeah. Kansas, Rigger, Kansas. <laughs> He's got he, on that game night. He always got our BFF from Missouri. It cracks me up. There we go. He's good. He, that game night is fun. Now, the yeah. only thing, Dale and I are good buddies, and we do enjoy each other's company. But he said we can't be friends because I like vinegar-based barbecue sauce. I do, too. And he does not. <laughs> he said vinegar. Hey. No business being anywhere around yeah. barbecue sauce, so we cannot be friends. <laughs> hey, Glenn. Hey. Glenn and Jessica on um, Gather Together. What'd you say? I'm having Chris? a little trouble hearing you, Chris. I said, I make a coffee based barbecue sauce. Oh, I bet that would be delicious. Pretty, it's, it's decent. It's decent. Yeah. My husband makes his too. We give it away for Christmas presents, vinegar based with spices and things. And it is yummy. You see, it's Jan said, and she's with Dale. <laughs> Oh no, we can't be. I can't be friends with Jan either. Oh my gosh, it's, it's the two of us against them now, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, um, that's funny. And I think that uh, the Nine Acre Farm family farm has been successful in their collaboration that they have had going out of April Angler Angler it April. Help me, Jerry. Was Anger April. Anger okay. April. Hey, it is not easy to say. <laughs> I that. had Angler April, but then I went and looked at Dale's video, Nine Acre, and he had April Angler. Right, but he's also got, then he, he corrects himself halfway through it. <laughs> then I had to switch it again, and I can't say any of it. Well, uh, watch my video, and I, you can see when I watch my video, I have a problem saying it at the beginning of the video. Like, I, 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 I can't I'm going to get some coffee. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you you have to watch that video, and then come back to me and tell me what you think. Because it, uh, I'll do it. So I've got about there's probably about three weeks with the work on that video. Oh my! And, and it's the only video I've ever ever put out that has that much work on it. Honestly. You know, Jesse and I were talking today about how long he thinks a video, how much work you put in a video. He thinks for every minute a video runs, you should have about one hour of editing. And I went like, what? And he and he said, well, that's including the shooting it, downloading it, uploading it, and all that. And I said, well, some of my videos are no longer than maybe 15 minutes, but I've only got maybe 30 minutes in editing. Yeah. But that video there, I've got three full weeks of solid work in doing it. And uh, it was fun. And I think it's a fun, I like, I've got it on my on my front page now that I like it so much. Okay, you know, good so, for uh, you. Uh, I think it's, it was a fun to do, but I think, you know, I, I think everybody needs to watch that video and tell me what they think. Well, we'll have to share it out for you because I could tell you the videos that I work the hardest on that I think this is it. I am this. Everybody's going to love this. And it goes nowhere. And then yeah. I have something that I think is dumb as I'll get out and it flies. So I it, has, it has 109 views right now. Okay. Since yesterday. So I, I'm happy with it. I told my well, wife, if I get 100 views in two days, I'll be happy. That's you exactly know. right. I've had videos. I'm like, oh man, this is my best video yet. Yeah. And it's Flatlines, and I'm like, come on, <laughs> just watch it one time and you'll love it, right? But then I think a, a I think, I think I the collaborations have a lot, yeah, just, just skyrocketed. I'm it's like, crazy, yeah. it is, yeah. it's, it's crazy, Chris. How that well, Chris, I put a video out today. My wife went in and changed the name after I put it up, but she put it, it it's a if it's it's of a, a short. It's my grandson, my young son, and the young calf that we had. That was we found. Mama wouldn't take it back, so we bottle feed it, and it's got over eight hundred and forty-six from noon today. That's awesome! Look, uh, hardcore copper said that sometimes they make a short to go with their video to call people in. So yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. You can take clips out of videos. Hey, Brandon. I need to learn how to do that. It's video. 
uh, it, it, I didn't tell you which video. It's called, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it came from Alaska, the name of the video. Okay. That's the name of the video. It's it's on my, what do you call it, front page where they, where they have people come in, uh, new subscribers come in, they show, it shows the video. Yes. Yeah, I need to do is attach it to the ones that come back also, so. There you go. So my video in the morning that's coming out is about us going to the auction, the chicken auction. And we did one about a year ago about how to buy a sale at the auction, because a lot of people don't know. And I mean, it, it went nowhere for like six months. And I'm like, I've had the most fun with this. Video. This is the best time I've had with a video ever. And it just went nowhere. But then it's got, I think, 3,500 views now. Oh, but gosh. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it just takes a while. I've got a lot of videos yeah. that were a year old before they went anywhere. And On YouTube? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. They, okay, well, that gives me hope. <laughs> they, yeah, they just sit there and they do nothing for, I mean, for 12 months, absolutely do nothing. And all oh, of a sudden, that certain person watches it. Yeah. And I guess they share it or something. And it, it takes hope. But uh, like part, part of our video is, is, I think it's titled Going Back to the Auction. So basically, a year later, we're still going to the auction and whatnot. And I still yeah. have fun with those videos. Oh my gosh. I had never been to an auction before last year and we went to Indiana to go visit some friends. Yeah. And they have a regular Saturday night thing there, auction. And that right. was very interesting. It was a little um disheartening in some of the animals. I like auctions. But, but I have to be careful when I go. I guess a lot of that can get carried away. <laughs> I bet you good on your farm. We've got a, we've got a good local auction, a good auction team, and I mean they don't put up with no junk. You're not bringing no sick animals, no, you know, on the deathbed animal. You're not doing that there, you know. Yeah. This is Zippy. Oh. And so he he see he see his foot. He puts his he puts his paw around you and gives you a hug. Oh, he, he just he cracks me up. He comes up, he wants to get picked up. He'll climb up your lap and give you a hug, and he wants to lay down and go sleep on you. Okay, and there's Nicole. And then yeah, Nicole, somebody was asking for hardcore yeah. opera is asking where she was. Well, there's Nicole. When, yeah, when I uh, did go to that, the reason why I said it was a little bit sad was I, I went to that auction and um, there was a dead calf in the st stall. Oh, and it was there. I mean, and then you take the children, and they go, "Oh, is it sleeping?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is sleeping. Yeah, it was. It was sad. And there were yeah, a number, it was, of, so. but it was a. It just. I know they're not all like that. Right. Well, we're getting close to the end of the stream. We're gonna shut it down in about two hours. I reckon. Yeah, um, eight minutes. Hey, let me yeah. let me belt loop. Let me show you this hat I got. Hang on, let me pegify it. You see all these good locks of hair. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's awesome. nice. Seven so, seven fifteen. I like that hat. We so we're officially in the hat business now. Also, all Excellent. right. Are you are you selling them yourself, or you have to go through a company no. to get them? No, my wife has a shirt and, and hat business. So actually, Belt, belt Loop has got our very first. I didn't even get to keep the first patch, Belt Loop. You've got the very first patch we ever made. Oh, that's oh. awesome. That reminds me. I meant to be wearing your shirt tonight. You know, <laughs> I did. I got, you know, I got your shirt uh, right over here somewhere. Yeah. You know, I'll go change real quick. <laughs> it's got, uh, Mark at Little Ridge Farm, he, he has ordered a, a few hats from us. Uh, I'm waiting on him to actually tell us what color he wants, but other than that. But does, does your wife do, like, other channels merchandise or just yours? No, she'll do anybody's. Anybody's. I'm going to have to see about talking to her. Yeah, then. yeah so I, I got a T-shirt I want to get made. Rebecca, uh, the yarn tamer, she is actually... Yeah. 
she's ordered a couple of shirts with her design on it. Uh, doing that, I think. I got that. That's between her and my wife. I'm sure, not sure. Business. I got you. Look at there. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> I did. I meant to wear. I I I was planning on the blue one, but I, I don't I don't know where I set it down. Um, hey, don't feel bad, Gary. I was going to wear your shirt tonight, but I can't find it. Well, I saw it. I think somebody somebody took it because it was a real nice shirt. I had it sitting out, and I'll send it. Oh, there. I like that. That's nice. But yeah, and I've got the very first patch he's done. So that's oh. a front and back shirt. That's that's cool. How cool. Yeah. Well, I'll have to make y'all laugh. I feel like a real homesteader now. I have two chickens. There we go. <laughs> Let me tell you, good time, good times homestead sounded like George Clooney. Let me tell, honestly, I've had that said to me for about 20 years, and I'm like, I don't see it, you know. <laughs> yes, you do. But actually, <laughs> I, I've had to be sh clean shaven for jobs before. And uh, they say, oh, man, look at George Clooney. Look at George Clooney. And I'm like, yeah. that's just ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's a compliment. So yeah. I'll, that's I'll not I get right now. better than right. say, saying you look like a horse is behind. So that's awesome. <laughs> hey, and your chickens are Thelma and Louise, ain't they? They are Thelma and Louise. I yep. thought so. They're wild and, and rambunctious. They're are they horrible. getting out anymore? I am going to get some Actually, next weekend, we're going to get some more chicks. Are they getting out anymore, Ann? Am I getting what? Are they getting out anymore? No, no. Um, we fixed that. <laughs> I saw, I saw the, the temporary fix. Yeah. Did and, you find and still, it's not. My husband had a time working with that. Um, What's up, Ace? The hardwire cloth. Yeah. Um, he said he didn't like working with that. So we do have Hard to work with. Yeah, we have a net that's um, built a cage on top of the run so that, and it's and it's all covered in netting. It's not yeah. real predator proof, but the house, the coop itself is like Fort Knox. Yeah, did you split the door yet? No, we didn't split the door, but we're able to open it now because the cage oh, okay. is up tall enough that we're, I did buy some paint. I, when I saw that, the you showed that video and like, does she know she can't get in that door? I can't get in the door, I know. I had to undo the netting to get in the door. But I, I cracked me up. I said, she should have that door on the other side. <laughs> we got in and I know nothing about chickens, but I sure am having fun. They're, they're, they're fun to have around. All, our, all of ours are, are Gertrude's. Well, these are uh, silver-laced wine dots, and they're so quiet. We, we yeah. name all ours Gertrude. They have the, that's their name is Gertrude. All okay. of them. Yeah. Well, Thelma and Louise are trying to escape half the time, and they have they are survivors because they were a group of nine chickens that were in a place at another homestead that had never ever had a predator, or they've been having animals for like two years, never had a predator. I show up to stay at their home and I'm to take the chickens the next day home. And the night of that night, like between midnight and 4 a.m., a predator came in and got seven of them. Yep. So. The raccoon, I'm sure. I don't know. Raccoon, anyway, raccoons like to kill just for the fun of killing. I guess. Hi, hardcore cop. Copper. Hello. Somebody said somebody dared me, so you know. Okay. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just. Hey, kidding. you've been up here a couple of times before. I, you know, I was over in your live stream, you know, not too long ago. Oh, you were. Uh, well, been a few you days. You didn't recognize Gary. Oh my Sorry, gosh, you're about about that. Sorry about that. If you were. Well, that's okay. A lot of times I lurk these days, anyhow. You know. It was it was kind of an interesting conversation, you know. I'm not sure I could get away with you know conversation, you know over here. Oh, the, what uh, was it about? I'm scared now. <laughs> well, that's all right. Um, a little bit more risque, but that's it. It didn't cross any lines or anything. But hey, it was enjoyable conversation. I you know oh, I like your channel. Yeah, because um, 
I but, start to try to do normal things on my channel, and it never stays that way. <laughs> okay, explain to me what's normal. You know, because I have a coin channel. So I start off like we're talking about coins, and then five minutes later, yeah, I can't tell you what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, That's normal. we got way off track here, too. But we always do, and that's okay. Yep. It happens. We call um, that squirrel syndrome. Hey, yeah, Molly. but these are naughty squirrels. Oh. Nine acres. Hey, Dale, good to see you. We'll see uh, you soon. I see Molly and Dale are here. Um, and uh, anyhow, we've hit the two-hour mark. Uh, if anybody would like to come up, you know, and be in the after party or something, because we'll stick around a few minutes after. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, end the broadcast. You know, there. Oh, wow, it's 10 o'clock. Can I do a shameless plug? Yeah, sure. Go check out my channel. I've got um, cheesecake brownies that I made that is on there. And I've uh, just finished recording pizza bombs. So they'll be on there next. Right. Yeah. I just subscribed to you. So I'll, I'll check it out. Because I do coins, collecting, comedy, cooking, crafts, and all kinds of crud. Cool. <laughs> well, everybody on my side, thank you very much for coming in and watching and uh, racking up some of those hours for me. Uh, I will have to see how many of you come out of it. Like I said, last week we had 119 no. and 77 Sorry. good. So, Hey, in the chat, just go ahead and type in 29 and hit enter, hardcore. Uh, it'll drop your link. I'm assuming yeah. you over on my channel. I don't know if it will if you own what did you say? channel. So Okay. I'm trying to find her on my phone. Well, I I looked on the thing and I was having trouble finding her myself. But oh, there you are. And I'm subscribed. <laughs> You're already subscribed. Yep. What am I okay? Type in twenty nine. In Gary's chat. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just hard to find some channels if they ain't live or, um, and maybe it's just my, my internet or something. I don't know. Good um, night, Jan. All right. I'm going to end it so we can start the, and we got somebody over in the basement. I'm going to bring him up. Do you want to come up before we, you know, end it or right after? Well, that's fine. I'll bring you up, and then we'll end it. Well, hey, Gary, Brandon, thank, hey, you, thank you so there much. Is. I appreciate right, you having me up here. This is the longest I've ever been on a live. My lives are normally 30 minutes. I know. And it is uh, very nice to meet you, Square County Homestead. And thanks, man. And Three, Gary, always a two, pleasure. It's always a pleasure to see you, too. See you on Tuesday.